Cougars and the UConn Huskies rejoice because they've won their 22nd Big East Tournament crown. Now let's head to the stage for the trophy presentation with Ken Adams. Sun Arena live audience and we are going to kick things off with a few words from our fantastic Big East Conference Commissioner Val Ackerman. Thanks Kim. Um, I want to commend um, our runner-up the Tasha Tough Georgetown Hoyas for an inspired run and a great season. And hats off to all of our schools for uh, a great season and a very competitive and hard-fought year. I want to thank all of you, the fans here at Mohegan Sun Arena, for your amazing support of the Big East women's basketball programs. Thank you so much. Our champion, our champion had the coach of the year, the player of the year, the freshman of the year, was the runner-up, was the regular season title winner, is now won its 22nd Big East tournament crown. pleasure to present the 2024 Big East Conference Women's Basketball Championship Trophy to Coach Oriema and the Yukon Huskies. We are going to speak with the man himself, Coach Gino Oriyama, as we let the confetti clear. Coach, it seems like these last couple of seasons now, your group has just been dealt challenge after challenge, yet you complete an undefeated Big East regular season. You're here hoisting your 22nd Big East Tournament Championship trophy. you describe how this year's team has just continued to ride every wave of this season? Uh, <clears throat> well, I, I would like to say that uh, as, as, uh, as much as, um, you know, I'm obviously excited for, um, for UConn and, 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 and all those tournament championships, all of them are unique in their own way, all of them are special, but the way it played out this year and the way we had to play these three games under the circumstances that we had to play, um, I don't think any of them were ever, ever quite this, uh, this challenging for, the, for this team, for these kids. It was incredible. Um, I mean, to, to, to see what they did and, and you know, they're in practice every day and, and then they have to play and, and there's going to be no substitutes. There's not going to be any, hardly any, um, any times for breaks or it's just you got to play and you got to play through whatever. We're playing well, we're playing poorly, we're fatigued, whatever the case may be. But I think you just find that extra something, you know, because you have such a legacy to live up to here when you come here and play. Um, I mean, Ice just played... 80 minutes in two games. You know, I don't think she went 80 minutes consecutively in practice one time. And that's, I think that's what makes it special is that sometimes you don't know what's inside people until they're put in a situation where they, they've really got to dig down and see what they have. And, and this opportunity may show them and show you all just incredible toughness and the resilience that these guys have. And um, obviously we're all proud at Connecticut of all of our championships, but this one, um, 
given what we went through. And it's, um, we're, we're gonna celebrate this one really, really, really good. We appreciate it. We are going to bring back Val Ackerman, who I think has one more trophy to give out. Woo. Thanks, Val. She was the um, Big East Player of the Year, the Scholar Athlete of the Year. Her line tonight was 27 points, four rebounds, three assists, five blocks, and three steals. The most outstanding player of the 2024 Big East Women's Basketball Tournament from UConn, Paige Beckers. Congratulations. Before we talk to you a little bit, I do want to point out a little history. Paige Beckers today becomes just the third ever player to repeat Big East Tournament Most Outstanding Player, joining Shelly Penafather from Villanova and UConn great Carol Walters. Congratulations, Paige. Paige, it seems like from November until this very final Big East game of the season, there has been a theme of players needing to step up. How would you describe how you've seen your teammates do that all season long? Yeah, um, I read a devotional every time before the game, and this, this one this morning was play the hand you were dealt, and that's been our theme the entire season. So everybody stepped up. Uh, Today it was uh, me and Nika, the two seniors and all of our little kids, um, but everybody stepped up in so many different ways. Um, the energy on the bench from these guys who didn't play was amazing always the entire season, so they played a part in this as well. The coaching staff, the training staff, the massage staff, the strength and conditioning staff, everybody who works here at UConn just played a huge part in just keeping us together and keeping us solid. Um, there could have been plenty of times where we wanted to just bow down and quit, but we just keep on fighting. We're, this is the most resilient group I've ever been around. And this one is very rewarding, so I'm very happy about this one. And Paige, one year ago we were at a similar scene, but you were one of the players in the sweatsuits. I know you want to get your teammates out of these sweatsuits, but how would you describe the emotions you feel with your journey back to the court now in this moment holding up a couple of trophies? Yeah, a year ago I was I would have done anything to be in basketball shoes instead of streetwear, just playing in the most important month of basketball. Um, so I'm extremely grateful. Uh, I wouldn't be here without God and all my teammates and my coaching staff. Um, I just wanted to embrace it and have fun because I missed it so much the entire year last year. Um, and I'm just extremely grateful to be healthy and playing basketball. We're loving seeing you back out there. Paige Becker's most outstanding player. Congratulations. Before we send it back to the TV broadcast, I think there's somebody that this crowd would really love to hear from. Aaliyah Edwards, would you join us up at the front? Aaliyah, I know I speak for a lot of people here, a lot of people watching, that it made us really sad to not be able to see you out on the court to finish out this Big East tournament. How would you describe how your teammates, how this Husky family has kept you uplifted during this time? Super, super proud. Um, even though I was down, my energy was up on the bench. I was still a part of the team, still playing with my teammates, and my teammates got the job done! is all. Everyone stepped up. Everyone played together. We played UConn basketball. All right, Ali Edwards, we hope we see you out there. NCAA tournament. UConn Huskies 2024 Big East tournament champions for the 22nd time. Congratulations, everybody. John Fanta, we will send it back to you on the FS1 broadcast. Thank you, Kim. Play with the hand you're dealt. They did and they're champions because of it. The power of faith.
and dealing with adversity. We'll be back to talk more about the champion Huskies.